Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. It is time for a savings challenge update. We are on week 39 and this is the last week of September. We had five weeks in September where we saved. Um, there were five Fridays in September, although the first of September was on a Friday. Um, so we're going to save for the last week of September and we are going to pull our 100 envelope challenge numbers for October. Now I have already met and exceeded my goal to save $500 in September. So I am not planning to save a lot this week. Um, we shall start with the, uh, zero out savings challenge so let me log in to the bank so for this week we are going to save ten dollars because we are still zeroed out from last week so um nothing changed so it's still zeros so i am going to do 10 even and and we'll transfer that over real quick. Okay, so that is done. And let's update it here in our book. This is not the right book. Try again. Got my life planner out instead of my budget book. Okay, so September. So we have September 29th. We're saving $10. That brings us to $244.34 for the year. Um, quick update for you. I made an error last week, so I said I was going to save $8 for the save and double, but I actually had saved that the week before, so I went ahead and changed it to $30 um, for that challenge. So that is where we're at on that, and then we're going to do $5 this week, and I am going to carry this challenge over into October and continue to work on it in October. So we have $5 for our save and double, and let me color that in now so that I don't end up making the same mistake again. So, let's see. It's really not meant to be used to color, but it'll do. Clean color dot to the rescue. Now it's gonna take 500 years to dry. Okay, so while that is <laughs> while that is drying very slowly, let's uh, do. I do know I have some five dollar bills. So today I went and I did some recycling. They always give five dollar bills to the recycle place. So that is gonna go into my vacation fund. I actually got 17 dollars. Um, so I'm going to leave the two in here and we'll take care of that. Two dollars when um, we close out our budget for September. But I'm going to put the I'm trying to see if that green is dry. I'm going to put that 15 here. And that's going to go into the vacation fund. head is not going to happen. So we are at 53 in this envelope. Let's just make sure 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 
46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. All right, so that's where it should be. I wrote that on the wrong thing. Okay, hold on a second. We're in the wrong envelope. So we're going to take that money back out. And this is why we weren't doing math in our head. Because we clearly need all the assistance we can get. Okay, let's back it up. <laughs> Vacation fund. We are adding $15. There's nothing in the envelope. So we're just going to have $15 in there. All right. Back on track. This is real life, y'all. Okay, so that's done. And my green is dry, so I can close this. So that is it. I'm not doing 100 envelopes, save all believe 52 week or 2023 and 2023 for this week in September. I am going to pull 100 envelope numbers separately for October. So we are saving $30 this week. And that brings our total for the month to $594.39. And again, the goal was $500, so we have more than exceeded it. And then there will be a little bit more because of some interest earned and a few other things. So $594.39 for the month, $30 this week for week 39 of savings. All right, so we've got that. Let's pull numbers for October and I'm going to use this to write them down. Okay, so here is our little thing of numbers. I think we're behind by book is that? I think we're behind by a week. Where did I put the book yet? Which is not horrible. Hmm. There's a little book where I can keep track of my numbers. And I have no idea what I did with it. Um. Okay. Any case, let's pull some numbers. Um, hold, please. I think I have it in the back here. But I don't think this version is up to date, so. in real quick. So I think that I, th I think that these numbers oh geez I think these go, go through August so I'm going to write these September numbers in here which I don't think I wrote any of them down. there's 38 numbers left so that's 19 weeks I'm just trying to do some quick math in my head which I just got done saying is not a good idea but I just want to have an idea of where we're at so we have four weeks in October, four weeks in November, five weeks in December. That's 17. And I have 19 
weeks of numbers left to pull. Okay, so we are like two weeks behind. Not the end of the world. Let's see where we're at here. Um, and this is where this comes in good and handy. Pretty sure that's a 60 because I don't think they put zeros in front of the single numbers, but I always like to double check and make sure I have not pulled it. So we have 60. Forty-seven, really, ninety. Did we not like already pull all the high numbers? What is going on here? Okay, so now we have not pulled ninety. Ninety-four. I think that's 68. Let's see. Um, 68 of 89. Pulled either, so we're gonna go with 68 because, yeah, because 52. All right, so we're at 411. And that puts us at 474 and that is where we're going to stop and we will see if we are able to save any more throughout the month so our hundred envelope numbers for October and this will go to our emergency fund is 60 90 68 47 94 52 and 63 for a total of 474 dollars I like to save this at the beginning of the month in a sort of pay yourself a first manner so <clears throat> payday comes in and we're just sort of ready to go on this that way i know it gets done and it happens so that is this week's savings challenge i will be back here next week with week was it 39 or 40 be back next week with week 40. 40. That means that there will only be 13 weeks left this year to save. This year is flying by. Let me know if you are saving and if you're using any savings challenges. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you back here next time. Bye.